December 3rd Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Revelation chapter 22 of the New Testament Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, water as clear as crystal, pouring out from the throne of God and of the Lamb, flowing down the middle of the city's main street. On each side of the river is the tree of life, producing twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month of the year. Its leaves are for the healing of the nations, and there will no longer be any curse, and the throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city. His servants will worship Him, and they will see His face, and His name will be on their foreheads. Night will be no more, and they will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun because the Lord God will shine on them, and they will reign forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, These words are reliable and true. The Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what must happen soon. Look, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the words of the prophecy expressed in this book. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, I threw myself down to worship at the feet of the angel who was showing them to me. But he said to me, Do not do this. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers, the prophets, and with those who obey the words of this book. Worship God. Then he said to me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy contained in this book, because the time is near. The evildoer must continue to do evil. And the one who is morally filthy must continue to be filthy. The one who is righteous must continue to act righteously. And the one who is holy must continue to be holy. Look, I am coming soon and my reward is with me to pay each one according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they can have access to the tree of life and can enter into the city by the gates. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the sexually immoral and the murderers and the idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you about these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. And let the one who hears say, Come, and let the one who is thirsty come. Let the one who wants it take the water of life free of charge. I testify to the one who hears the words of the prophecy contained in this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book of prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city that are described in this book. The one who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all. God, it is stunning to think that you will make us perfect, perfect enough to stand in your presence and see your face and and hear you I know that that is nothing I could ever do on my own never ever but the fact that you love us so much and desire that everlasting relationship with us that you allow us to be here in life and you refine us and you perfect us as much as we can be here in this world through trials and tribulations and people coming into our life and people leaving our life and situations. And then you complete that process when we're brought up to heaven to reign with you. Every time I read these passages, I just get this horrible sinking feeling in my heart that I am just so not worthy of anything that you've given me, much less this final reward that is coming. And then I realize it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you and your sovereignty and your control throughout 
this world and all the other universes. It is your choice to have a relationship with us. I'm not sure why you choose that, but you made us. You called us before the worlds were created. And from the first moment we were conceived, you started to help guide us here on earth. And somewhere along the process, we came into faith with you and we became your children. And we started working on that process of you becoming greater and us becoming less, of truly loving the people of this world like you loved us, of filling this world with your grace and your mercy. When I was, it was probably right before I became a Christian or as a baby Christian, and I read some of these sentences about how we will receive a reward um, is with me to pay each one according to what he has done. And I remember I was still really struggling with this works versus grace piece of it and couldn't believe that I didn't have a say in it. So that same thought process that I'll receive rewards for what I do just propelled me into action anything I could do to equal rewards and I think it's interesting God that I read Revelation for the daily video Bible project for the umpteenth time and fully realize I'm not in that race anymore I'm not in a personal race anymore I'm not in a Janelle race anymore I'm in the race to glorify you God I don't want any reward the only reward I want is for you to be glorified for the world <laughs> on bended knee to glorify you God my heart breaks so much for my friends and the people that I'm meeting who don't know you sure they know your name but they don't understand your power. They don't understand your grace. They don't understand your sovereignty. They don't understand that you sacrificed your son for us. And they certainly don't understand what's coming. God, I pray to you that if it's your will, if it's your timing, that if there's anyone listening to this video right now who isn't there yet, who may potentially think that they're going to be those people outside of those gates. Those people getting thrown into the lake of fire. God, if it's your will and your timing, allow them to hear these words, these powerful words of yours that we are reading. Allow them to sift out through their mind into their heart and eventually propel them into action. So they too will want to glorify you, God. So they will understand what true love really is. So they will have kindness and compassion and joy and grace. All because of the new heart you gave us. Through your son Jesus Christ. Whose name I honor and pray to. Amen.